part one of prepping for baby. So I'm going to do like six parts because there's six weeks tomorrow countdown of my baby girl arriving well around that time anyway so i thought it'd be a nice idea to do like this in a part series kind of thing so i'll be posting them every sunday until she's born but also i'm going to introduce like a wednesday post which is going to be more like a vlog style and i'm so excited for next wednesday's post because i've got my midwife appointment literally the day before so i'm going to vlog that and yeah i'm very excited also i am so weltering this jumper is actually like quite light so that's why i've chosen to wear it and then i'm just wearing like a long skirt i feel like i look so big now my long skirt because today's is buying stuff from my hospital bag and packing my hospital bag so that's exciting in itself so i'm going to go to town now get it out of the way because it's only quite early it's like 10 o'clock 11 o'clock i was meeting my friend for lunch but she's so hungover so we're going to do that tomorrow instead and sorry the that's the dog next door just like 10 10 barking you know i actually wasn't really keen on this skirt at first when I first tried it on, but I think, you know what, with the right outfit, it's actually quite nice, to be honest. I actually really like, you know what, I feel quite nice in this outfit. Okay, so I've actually had to change because I was so hot in the other jumper and it was making me feel sick. So it literally just looks so simple, but it's just the black skirt and a black t-shirt. And then I've got like a love bag. I've also got a clip because I just know that I'm gonna get too hot and my hair being down is gonna, make me extremely aggravated let's go right i feel like this was really short-lived because i left the house to go to town don't know if you can see i'm actually sweating but honest honest to god the heat is making me feel like sick <sighs> the problem is i struggle with like not being able to do everything i want to do but in reality like i need to accept that i'm not you know how i was nearly nine months ago now you know when I wasn't pregnant and I was able to do whatever I wanted like there is a literal baby inside of me and yeah I feel really really sick so I think I might give it 10 minutes let myself cool down and then just go to the the shop near the, like the village where I live guys I'm gonna have to stay in I really hope this video isn't gonna bore you I'm gonna do my hospital bag shopping online so uh, yeah i just feel so sick and headachey so i feel like instead what we'll do is we'll still shop for the hostel bag but again we'll do it online and maybe order some food have a cozy saturday stick a horror film on lie on the sofa maybe nap i don't know i feel like it's gonna be more of a cozy vlog but i will still make sure to do my hostel bag shopping because number one i need the stuff but i just I just don't feel well today, which is oh, it's so annoying. I think this is for me, God, that dog. I think this for me is like the worst part of pregnancy is just how like reliant you are on feeling good that day. Okay, so I've laid down for a little bit and I've just ordered some food. It is half past 12. I've ordered a pizza because I'm actually so hungry. I don't have any food in. So what I'm gonna do right now is sit down get my laptop and do the hospital bag stuff order all of that and then do a food shop order because i desperately need a food shop Right, so everything that I've ordered so far. So I did order toothpaste, but I don't need that because I've got this. I've ordered shower cream, um, hair bubbles, shampoo, deodorant. I've ordered a travel bottle set, including a zip case, just because I feel like things that are a bit more expensive or I have a lot of, for example, like moisturizer, I can just like decant into there. Paracetamol, small and then a spray bottle. I might order a comb as well, actually, because I've read online and also my antenatal classes, my antenatal teacher said that a comb is really good in labour to try and kind of defer the pain as like a form of pain management. She said they do sell labour combs, but she was like, honestly, it's a rip off. Like if you just get a comb for two pounds, like it's gonna it's gonna act the same way. Why are you buying a labour comb for twenty quid? And I, d I honestly did already think that. Like, why am I buying a labour comb for like twenty pounds? So I'm doing that 
Instead, I'll be ordering just a, a really cheap comb to hopefully manage the pain. So there's one here for 85p. So I think I'll be getting those ones. What I'll do is I'll put the list of everything that I have used. I always say this, I wonder how to share the list with you. I'm gonna figure out a way to share the list with you and I'll put it in the description box down below or I'll put it on screen or something like that. Found these on Boohoo, obviously 24 pounds. Um, so you get two, I think those were the ones that I want. Um, I'm getting like a size 12. But yeah, these are buttoned down, 90s and the dark. So I feel like they will be like a good option for either giving birth. I don't know, do you give birth in like a hospital gown? Yeah, that is such a good point. Do you give birth in a hospital gown or do you give birth in like a gown that you wear? I have no idea. So the food has come and I'm gonna show you what I've got. Also, if you hear like a weird balloon sound, it's purely because I'm trying to move around on my, what's the word? Beth and Paul. So it's some onion rings. This obviously isn't all for right now. I mean, it could be, I'm pregnant. Some chips. And then, oh, a pizza. So if you've not watched it yet um, and you're in the UK, it's the manhunt, the Raoul Moat story. Uh, I didn't actually know who Raoul Moat was until like literally a couple of hours ago. And then I thought, okay, I'll watch this. It looks so good. It's like a little docuseries. Um, Pizza Hut is 10 out of 10. I would never have ordered a Pizza Hut, but I feel like cause it was on offer and they had like a little discount on it. I was like, you know what, I'll do it um hello yes okay so i did a food shop and i wanted to show you how i do my food shop so basically i use this on canva and then it's literally like monday to sunday and then it has snacks shopping list breakfast lunch and dinner and i just plan everything that i want to eat that week make a shopping list then I go straight to Asda. It was only £64 because I ordered a milk frother as well. But yeah, here you go. It's like all the stuff to make that. This sort of made it a bit more expensive. Um, I wanted it to go in my Nespresso machine. And look, £25 for that. I think that's so good. I thought, why not show you what I've got packed in baby girl's drawers? I feel like that's like a nice little thing that I've done and organised. Seeing as we're not really packing the hospital bag today. But whilst I do that, God, it's so dark on here. Um, before we do that, I really want to get a nice drink because I had a little nap because I was just so just tired today. And I feel tons, tons better, which is good. So we've got nappies. I've got tons of nappies. I'm really upset that this side didn't look as aesthetic as this side, but hey-ho. And then tons of water wipes, baby wipes, whatever you want to call them. They go like all the way back. Then I've got some cotton balls for cord care and then some more cotton wool for cord care. Then I, then I've got a first aid kit, um, some anti-back surface wipes for her changing table, which is on here. Um, some gripe water. I don't know if I'll need this, but I did see Molly May had some for a baby and she said that it was like really helpful. So I thought, you know what, I'll get that. Then I've got like a little thing to take her temperature and to make sure she's okay. This is like called like a little kit for like a nail file and stuff. Then I've got these, which my friend got for her, which I just think are so cute. Then I have some big thing of Sudocram. This is, what's this? Rescue Balm another kind of like barrier nappy cream and then an everything balm as well in here we've got actually it is organized chaos this is all like scratch mitts some booties and socks and then she's got like a really cute outfit which i might actually put on a hanger because my friend's mom bought me the nicest gift which i'll show you in a second 
these are all one month plus baby grows and these are all newborn and up to a month i've actually just ordered i actually have just ordered some up to one month baby grows just because i had like i have tons of newborn ones and i have tons of one to three then i have tons of three to six but i don't really have like up to a month so i thought you know what i'll just order them on a bundle in vintage which cost me £4.50 and I think I got like 10 which would be more than enough. Um, so yeah, I'm happy about that. I just feel like I needed those last few things and I got them. This drawer is a little chaotic. <laughs> it's organised chaos once again. So let's have a look. So this is a pram fan, but I will be using this as like my hospital fan because it is rechargeable and I just think it's so handy. And this is the charger it comes with. So just, ugh, I need to not forget to charge it. At home, baby girl will be wearing sustainable, reusable um, nappies. So here I've got some nappy boosters and some nappies. And basically you can wash these. So you put like liners in them. They're the, the disposable part of them. But everything else is obviously reusable. So they're what I'm going to be using when I'm at home. Number one, I just think it's like a lot more affordable. And number two, it's just a lot more sustainable to use them. And also I've done some research on the like nappy rash and stuff like that and apparently these help to avoid i'm not saying it's going to completely get rid of nappy rash but it does help the skin and it's a lot softer on the skin than disposable nappies but like i mean each to their own i'm gonna still use disposable nappies when we're out of the house like just for pure ease then i've got like a ton of bath stuff so baby 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 i might actually go and put these in the bathroom to be honest um so maybe may as well just because there's no point in them sitting in here and then my friend actually got me some Kylie baby moisturizing lotion which i think is super cute um this is the manual for you in the sheep which is coming with us to the hospital then i have a ton of muslin cloths but some of them are in my hospital bag already which is over there um blanket my mum made i'm going to show you another one that my mum made actually because it's so cute blanket my made another blanket my mum made and then loads of towels and a little dressing gown. This is for my nappy bag. It's a portable little changing table thing. So I just think that's helpful. My sister got me that. Then for myself, I've just got some breast pads because I want to be able to absorb all of the milk that's coming out. And also I want to put aloe vera on them to ease my nipples. And then finally, I've got some maternity pads. I assume I probably need some more. Like I said, I assume I probably need some more um, maternity pads. But again, if that happens, I can just do a quick Amazon Prime order. And then that's kind of everything, to be honest. I might take this out and put it in the hospital bag with the charging thing. Just because I want to get everything ready. I feel like I'm, what, 34 weeks tomorrow. I feel like that's a good time to have all the hospital bags sorted. I thought I'd have mine sorted a lot earlier, to be honest. Like. I don't like to be left to the last minute of stuff. I just find it really anxiety inducing. Uh, I also want to have my nappy bag packed. Do do you like pack that like on for on your way home from hospital? Or is that like purely for going out? Like I'm so confused. So these are all the learning curves that I need. But let me show you the blanket that my mum has um, crocheted for baby because it's so gorgeous. So my mom, you can find it on Instagram as Daisy's Delights. She's actually got like 35,000 followers. So she's doing a lot better than me. Um, and she does crocheting and crafts and all that stuff. And this is one that she's crocheted for her. I've actually asked her to do me a large matching one just because I think this is so beautiful. I hope this is kind of the blanket that she takes around with her. And you know, it's like her blanket, like it's her comfort thing. So I'm going to end the vlog here just because I'm going to probably sit on the sofa, watch a series and eat pizza. So, I mean, I doubt that's the most interesting thing for you to watch. But I feel like, I hope you've enjoyed it. I think going through the drawers or doing the stuff for the hospital bag was such a nice little thing to do, considering that I couldn't go out. And I hope you're not too bored. And if you have been, it's in this video, then thank you so much. If you did like this video, again, please do think of subscribing. That would mean so much to me. And you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Put them here and down below and all that kind of stuff. And fingers crossed I figured out a way to share like the hospital list with you. Like I'm sure I can share it by like Google Drive or something. Like I'm not too sure. I'll have to have a look into it. But thank you so much for watching. I'll be back on Wednesday. So I post Sundays and Wednesdays and Wednesday will be my midwife 
my midwife appointment. I'm vlogging that, so that's going to be so exciting. So I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!